So International Day of the Girl Child will be celebrated on Sunday, October 11, amplifying the voices and rights of girls everywhere. According to the UN, the theme for this year, My Voice, Our Equal Future, reimagines a better world inspired and led by adolescent girls as part of the global generation equality movement. Girls worldwide are demanding a life free from gender-based violence, access to health, skills, recognition, and investment as leaders of social change. I'm joined today by a young lady who has been using sport to chart her career path, 18-year-old national badminton standout Priyana Ramdani, who is currently on scholarship in Canada. Priyana, thank you very much for talking to us today. But uh, before we get into the actual conversation, I know you're in lockdown in Canada, something different yeah. from, from what you're accustomed to here when you were here playing sport in Guyana. How have you been coping with that new lifestyle? Well, it's been very different. Like, everything has completely changed up. We haven't been able to play for seven months. And I've never played, stayed away from badminton that long. Yeah. So we've been doing, like, in the house exercises. Yeah. And whenever we can, we jog around the community or the park. But now, like, three weeks ago, the college has opened back his gym so i've been able to train now which is so much better because yeah. but i feel a little bit rusty going back but i think i'll be better in like a month or two <laughs> right that, that must have been difficult though knowing that you've played badminton for all these years almost yeah. all your life you know and, and to be away yep. from the game that must be disheartening huh? yeah it was hard for me like i mean for all athletes i mean coping towards that because it's a complete different thing not being able to play your sport for a while <laughs> i'm sure you would have learned a, a, a few things about yourself during this period though yeah well i've gotten mentally stronger for yeah. sure because like not being able to find the motivation to exercise at home was really hard for me because like i tried my best and my coach was here who is also my father and he used to push me and my brother to like go take a jog or something <laughs> yeah all right, to the topic now of International Day of the Girl Child. I know you, you've played the trail in badminton, really, wearing national colors from, from a very early age, representing Guyana <laughs> with, with distinction. Tell us a bit about that journey and, and how it has helped to shape the person that you are today. Well, badminton is almost my entire life. And everyone noticed, like, without badminton, I don't think I would be the person I am today. And it's all because of sport. Sport helped shape the person I am today towards discipline, being on time, and yeah. everything else. Like, sport does a lot to a person, even help with manners and everything. Like, I think, like, everyone should be involved in a sport because, like, being coached towards a specific goal helps uh, build up an individual really well. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, Sportsmen and women over time have often said that, um, you know, success on the field or on the court uh, doesn't happen by coincidence. You know, it's all about hard work, uh, dedication, yeah. commitment, and having that support network. Um, how, how crucial is that last element, having that support network? I know your family has been behind you all the while. Yeah. So, like, not everyone will have their family behind yeah. them. But personally, for me, my family have been behind me for my entire life, which... I appreciate because like not everyone can have that. My dad brought me up in the sport. My mom helped coach like my entire life. And I think without them, I wouldn't be here. Like, the way I am like competing in the national tournaments and stuff. And I've come a far away because of them. And also my, my um, Bampton Club members, they've also helped me as well. And I just want to thank everyone for helping me to being where I am right now. <laughs> yeah. So in, um, in, in a Guyana context, you know, we, we have not seen that rush in the, in the number of um, young girls gravitating yeah. towards sport. Um, if, if they do, a really small percentage of them would go on to, to represent the country or play competitively at the senior level. Um, do you think that there is scope and a space for female athletes to develop and prosper in Guyana? And, and if not, how do we change that uh, going forward? Well, right now, like, now lots of female athletes are willing to like participate in sport like in Guyana but I think we can have more females because like it's not that they don't have the ability to it's just that they don't like make 
go towards that, you know, yeah. like they go towards something else, right? So I think we can fix that because like we just need to like advertise sport more or start recruiting more because yeah. they don't understand the meaning of sport can really help you. And yeah. I think that the girls in sport that they can do really well. I mean, look how many female athletes we have out there that's accomplishing really well. Yeah. And I I would like to encourage them to like get out of her house and like particip participate in sport. Well, they can't right now. Well, but like yeah. whenever they get the chance, they can like start up and you know. Yeah, yeah and, and you you're a great example of, of what what can be achieved uh, through sport and not just sport um, academics as well. You you have been balancing both. How has that been? Well, balancing both it's kind of tough sometimes, yeah. but I'm I'm doing pretty well because like. When we didn't have like coronavirus and stuff, I got to like catch up more in school and like, well, for my entire life, I've been balancing both. It's been really hard in secondary school because we used to have to do like 15 subjects and then badminton practice in the afternoon. Yeah. But I feel like I've been like working well with both of them together because like I'm doing really well in both right, right yeah. now. Yeah. I guess time management is something very significant yes. though in, in, in getting things done. Yes, I forgot that. Yes, time management is key. Like yeah. we need to know how to balance our time. Like a yeah. good thing to do is like set a schedule or a timetable when you're right. like a student athlete. Yeah. All right. Finally, yeah. um, you know, in your own experiences of playing competitively at, at a high level, you've played at a high level for Ghana at a very young age. Talk yeah. about the pride and the joy of, you know, being able to represent a nation that knowing that every time you step on the court, you're not only playing for yourself, that medal is not only coming to you but you're carrying the hopes and the image of an entire yeah. country on your shoulders. Playing for my country and everyone else from there is like yeah. one of the greatest feeling because like there's not much people to represent Guyana. Yeah. And I feel as a girl, like that's a good thing to like being able to accomplish well for Guyana and other countries can see like there's something going on for Guyana and we can get up there. We just need yeah. to try harder. And I think it's great being able to wear my country colors. I mean, like, our flag is one of the best looking flag in the world. So, yeah. <laughs> with the best looking colors. So, we yeah. have good t shirts. So, I like wearing the t shirts to play. <laughs> yeah. and, and do you get goosebumps um, standing on the podium and hearing the, the national anthem? Yes, so I do. Well, I feel like all athletes do because, like, being able to get a first place for your country is one. Is, like just one of the best feelings knowing that you work too hard towards that goal and you finally accomplish it and it's time to move on and go forward all right i said finally but one last question um priana <laughs> your advice to young girls you know i mean at 18 you seem to have, to have a, a course and a path already set in terms of what you want to achieve what you've already achieved as well young yeah. girls who might be struggling to find their feet to understand what they want to achieve in life what is your advice to those young girls that might be struggling yeah, my advice for young girls, I would be like, we can never give up, like, go towards your goal, like, you, like, people are going to go bring you down, but yeah. you can't let them bring you down, you just need to, like, continue working towards your goal, train hard, and you have to be able to have a positive mindset yeah. as well as being strong, not only physically, but mentally. Yeah. And I feel that that's very important for you to get where you are. Brianna, thank you very much for talking to us and all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you.